Welcome to the Games Freezer. Snares football games were shot. 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 Are you ready for this? This is Richard. This is Games Freezer. And this is SNES Football Games with Shite. And we bring you another slice of shite pie with Head On Soccer, published by US Gold. Now this one's an odd ball of a uh, football game. It is really strange. Um, football games generally get the physics kind of nearly there. Well this, the, the ball physics are all over the show. Um, as you're going to see and also there's this thing called aggro which kind of is a weird old concept um, especially when there's free kicks still involved but yeah let's just have a look at this and see what we've got England Q8 oh early doors goal that was a pass yeah the beast celebrates in front of a mashed up Peter Schmeichel look at this threads of ball forward and just lumps it towards the goal. Goalie's had a mare there, hasn't he? Dived over the worm burner on this uh, absolute desert-like pitch in Q8, obviously. Stereotypically that all Q8 football games take place on a pitch with no grass. Never heard of uh, f uh, AstroTurf? No? No, okay. Anyway, let's get on with this. Alright, come on England. So it's a kind of World Cup type thing as always. We've got England. So that's always a good start. Whereas previously we haven't even had England in the lineup. Didn't have it in uh, Hattrick Hero 2. Um, or they decide to put in Britain, which is an interesting concept considering we haven't played a British side uh, since Olympics 2012 or before then I don't think well there might have been some kind of Olympics going on pre prior to that where we played a side god knows how many years ago it's probably when we had the Olympics before 2012 anyway less of the Olympics talk more of this shite right so first things first when the ball bounces just watch it it kind of like bounces up like one of those uh, rubber balls that you bounce into the ground it's just really odd and then other times it'll just plop to the ground you never know what you're getting um there's like an aggro button oh that's a nice goal sweet finish yes and ginger bob marley sticks one past smashed up peter schmeichel in his 90s uh goalkeeper kit yeah they, they kind of map the oh nice finish map the shoot button to this aggro button where you kick lumps out of the oppo so you might be trying to shoot and then just end up kicking lumps out of the opposition it's really weird such an odd design decision um, anyway let's get on with this campaign to win the World Cup with England Go on. it is really hard work trying to control these players trust me stringing passes together isn't actually too bad but as you can hear with a that's them basically dealing aggro to me so every two seconds you'll see my players just fall into the ground because they're kicking lumps out of me and yet you can get a free kick given against you for a foul which doesn't make any sense really does it there you go and the head header button is uh, hilarious oh it's like um like a salmon jumping out of a, a river there he is jumping oh sends in a bobble up and that's it, full time, 2 0 in a first game. And look at this the boost and the ginger Bob Marley celebrate a convincing 2 0 win. The beast shorts are obscene, aren't they? Jeez. Could have sorted them out. Need to avert my eyes. Right, I've remembered that passcode and we're off to the next game against Iran. Well, here we go bit more grass on this pitch oh hello oh get in there unstoppable England and who scored it's ginger Bob Marley oh and um, smashed up Peter Schmeichel's in goal again hmm right look at this nice simple he's on form nothing can stop him 
They do their uh, trademark celebration of just running up and down the line. And away we go again. Um, yeah, this game's kind of... It's fun in an odd way. It's, if you, I don't know, maybe I'm just going a bit crazy, but... It's just the way the ball bounces around is so unpredictable. And the way the... Like the controls are. When you try and get a player on the ball, sometimes it will stick to the foot, other times it won't. It, it's playable because of that reason, because it's so kind of bad. You, know, you see the way the ball bounces in the area, and it took like right hand turns, proper ninety degrees. So it's um, it's one of them games. I I would say when I was just playing football games constantly in my youth, I would have given this a go, just to play something different apart from Sensi and uh, kickoff. And it, we would have, uh, me and my mates would have got loads of pleasure out of trying to win the cup or complete it, clock it, whatever, um, just because it's so bad. That's generally what happened with football games when, when we were younger. Play it, play it till we complete it, move on to the next one, apart from Sensi and kickoff where we'd uh, put more time in. Ooh, nice dig. Um, yeah, it just feels, just feels very weird. It's just looking at that air though, it's just you think, who built that animation? Have they ever played football before? Oh, nice save, keeper! Oh, look at this, keeper legend! No, uh, oh, another right, oh, right angle turn off the uh, popping crease. It's like Murley's bowling. All right, here we go. No, you can hear all the shenanigans going off on the ball or off the ball even. Oof. Deserve to be more than one nil up, surely. Have a dig, oh, and the shoot button as well is so underpowered. I don't, don't know how you actually get a shot that's any more powerful than what I'm getting off here. Because you press the button, and it just is almost as though it's a pass. No matter what button you press, and that first goal I scored in the first game, that was a pass. But it don't matter because the beast and Ginger Bob Marley in their obscene shorts are marching through with England. Tell you what, the beast don't really look like a footballer, does he? Let's face it. Um, I'm not sure what this player select screen is meant to do. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, I pressed the button and then it took me here, so I'm not sure you're meant to do anything at that point. Anyway, onwards. United Arab Emirates, the UAE. Back on a nice dust bowl. Oh, get in. Oh, the keeper saw it late. Pure worm burnage there. Oh, the keeper's earning his corn. That's it. We're putting him under pressure early doors. Oh, he's thrown himself to the ground in the area. There's a leaping salmon. Come on, leaping salmon. That's it. That's the funny thing about that leaping salmon as well. Whee! He's trying to jump out of the ground. It actually looks like a bit of a rodeo venue, doesn't it? You've got, like, wooden balls around the side. Like fencing. Look. What football stadium have you ever seen with uh, that kind of like brown wooden fencing? Oh, what a save. Get a roll the old arm, boy. Right, come on. Get air heads on this game. That's it. Salmon out of the way. Oh, well, great save. Smashed up Peter Schmeichel. Same character models for both teams. Oh. So there is a marking above one of the players, and that's that, that, like that mark in there that denotes him as the star player. I'm not sure what he does differently to anybody else. I haven't managed to work that bit out yet, so maybe I'm missing out on some special moves or something. Right, that's half time, and these one minute halves they fly by. Didn't want to um, do three minute halves because they seem to last forever on this game. So I thought I'd shorten it down to a one minute. -er. Keep it, uh, keep it flowing. Oh, one on keeper. A nice bouncy bounce. It's good header. A lot of the time, you'll make a tackle, and they'll just basically take it immediately back off you when you sort of stand up from that slide and tackle that you've made. Really annoying. God, come on. Oh, bloody hell. Living dangerously here, aren't we? 
Come on, England. Come on, England. Come on, England. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh, get your shooting boots on. <sighs> oh, dear. It sounds like more like a fighting game, doesn't it? You can, all you can hear is like people punching each other. Aggro, aggro, England, aggro. Hello, hello, England, aggro. Touch. There you go. No uh, half time whistle or full time whistle. Just straight into extra time. Right. United Arab Emirates causing us problems. Got 30 seconds each half to sort it out. Sort it out. Come on. Come on, England. Come on, England. Pops it into the midfield and does frig all with it. Right. Got. But what the hell? Problem, these goal kicks, they're just not powerful. Oh, we're just inviting them onto us, lads. <laughs> just waste some time, why not? That's better. It's bobbled its way through. Ah, oh, dear. Frustrating. Really frustrating. Can't seem to get the ball to string any passes together as well, which is a bit of a pain. As soon as I do get the ball, I get basically assaulted. In the aggro. Oh, he's nearly bended that in. A bending worm burner that time. Oh, he's sent in another worm warmer. As the fighting goes on, off the ball. All right, let's uh, work on what we've been doing in training, lads. The old throw in, look. Little dummy. Oh, and he gets mauled to the ground in the area, but the ref don't want to know. And that's full time. And we're on to penalties. Here we go. Up he steps. So this goes left, right, left, right. You got a Oh God. Their keeper was unlucky there. Yeah, you just gotta nail it at the right time and however long you push the shoot button for. Wow, nice penalty, mate. Good position for England to be in after one penalty. Yeah, oh that's going over. And there you go. The more you press the button, the higher it goes. So you've got to be kind of light on it. Come on, come on. Oh, keeper. Wrong way, son. It's inexcusable to go the wrong way, surely. Oh, yes, underneath him. Lionard, Lionard. Oh, what we got here? Oh, bottom corner. Nice. Into the netting. Come on, England. Oh, yes. Right, I've got my shooting boots back on. No more over the bars. That's one thing I promise. It's just whether my keeper can be a hero or not. Oh, he's dived out of the way of that one. Gone the wrong way again. Come on. It's this isometric angle. It doesn't help with penalties, I've got to admit. You'd want to be behind the penalty taker. Not on this angle. Oh, I've dived over the ball there. Shocker. Four all. Oh, he saved it. Oh, God. We need something special here. Come on, keeper. Gordon Banks! What a save! Oh, he's tipped that over. Oh, I want to see a replay of that. Oof. Nearly missed it. Whoa, oh, that, that penalty. Seriously. Come on. Oof. Yeah, that penalty save was something else. All right, come on. Nothing silly. Just slot it home. Ooh, lucky there. Here we go. Sudden death. We're into sudden death. Come on. Oh, he shanked it wide. <laughs> Lovely stuff. We're through. Yes. And it's the beast and some little guy with a peanut head who celebrates with their obscene shorts. As England go through to the next round to play the mighty China. Here we go. One of the biggest matches in football in history. England, China. Very green pitch. Feels like it looks like it's waterlocked. Oh, good save, Keep. It looks nice, but it's like. It's waterlogged, so it doesn't kind of.
bounce, look, it just stops. And then it kind of skids on as well. It either rolls or it doesn't. Like, this is it. Physics-wise, this game is up the creek. Oh, God. Oh, and they've scored. That's a shocker. And guess who plays for China? Ginger Bob Marley. It's my little leprechaun guy. Says, oh, no, we're letting a goal. Even though we're England. I don't know why he looks like a leprechaun. Probably looks more like a jockey, to be fair. Um, anyway. Onwards and upwards, lads. Come on. Let's play this pitch. Play it smartly. We know what it does. Look, that's skidding on. Whereas beforehand, it was just stopping. That's it. Come on, build a move. Do something. I find it really hard to actually get a tackle in there. Look. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, lads. Come on. Don't let the dream die. Not now. See, it's a good move. Good move. Where are we? Oh, no one's there. Who's there? Ugh. Yeah, have some of that. What happened? No, not a free kick. Just half time. <sighs> Come on. Oost. Yes, it. Go on. Go on. Oh, I thought he'd shaped it in. Oh, man. Feels like we're going out to these Chinese masters of the game. Thank you, ref. Although that was about 16 fouls too late, wasn't it? Oh, what about that one? <laughs> Jesus. It's either a foul or it isn't. Like, it doesn't take 20 of them later for it to be a foul, surely. Come on, let's try and build something. Star player goes sliding down the pitch. Oh my god. Oh my word, this is scrappy to say the least. That's what I'd say about this game overall, I reckon. Bloody shocker. Come on. Well in, well in. Oh! That's it, you get sliding tackling, and then you can fuck off, beast. You meant to be playing for us. We've smashed up Peter Schmeichel. Oh, shocking. Look, I get a tackle in and then he just nicks it off my foot, puts it in the bottom corner. Slid about like six foot. Well, dreams are over, look. Zero seconds left. Trying to go on one more attack. We can't even get the ball. Put it out for a throw in. Safety first. England fans are dejected. Going out to the mighty China. And that's that. Right. So, turd rating. What are we saying? Well, it is pretty shy. Um, I'm going to say... Four turds out of five. Thanks for watching, my friends, and see you next time on SNES Football Games with Shite. www.gamesfooter.eu